Hello everyone, welcome back to more Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Oh yeah. Um, so, uh, we come out the baths. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Yeah, we come out the baths. Um, the prince decides to stop Mr. Leary's conversations for now. Um, he does move... He does a... Uh, does move. He does a uh, meet back with Farah, I believe, in this part. Um... Oh, I don't like this bit. This, this is kind of finicky. Um, I always felt like the rope controls were a little bit finicky. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> not only that is... I don't know if it's just... Uh, it's timing, basically. You have to obviously swing off at the right time, then leap off at the right time, and hope hope that you'll get the... Uh, you'll uh, cling on to the rope. And then, because the, cause the uh, little bridge ledge is timed, you then have to turn around... Swing onto the ledge, and then quickly, quickly get through the door. Luckily, uh, yeah. luckily the ledge isn't too bad. It, it's the door, so you always have to do the ledge first because the door literally just shuts before you very right too quickly. So, um, I actually found out you can actually die under a door. Um, it's kind of hard to do, but it's possible. You can get crushed right. by the door. Yeah, it <laughs> happened to me before. I literally just. You know, I thought, can I make it? Can I make it? And the door kind of crushed me. I was like, wow. So I can actually get crushed by the door. Because <laughs> I've played games where I, I, I've tested to see if I can get crushed by a door. And no, you don't die. You just kind of glitch through the door. So, but in this case, you actually do die. So, yeah. It considers it actually you being crushed here. Oh, lovely. More traps. This is what I need. <laughs> I think I might even die on this bit. I don't know. I'm not even sure. I don't like this part, I know that. Uh, it was close. But, um, <laughs> yeah, um, little details like this. Um, yeah, he starts calling out to her. Hello. Yeah, here she is. Hello. Here I, Hello. I can't see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think this is the bit where she's kind of trapped. Don't ask me how, she probably went for a crack or something, I don't know. Um, basically, she's in an area where we can't go to right now. And she's being bombarded, I think, by monsters. So we can't actually help her at the moment, which is kind of annoying. Um, I don't think she's ever died, luckily. But, yeah, I don't like that. Because, to me, that kind of seems unfair. Because it's like, well, you can't do anything right now. <laughs> so she, if she is dying, then you're like, well, shit. <laughs> I can't get to her in time, so, you know, plus I've got enemies of my own to deal with. But, exactly. Like the annoying girls and these blue dudes. I hate these blue dudes. Can't run on top of them. They just, they just say, fuck you to your acrobatic skills. Get lost. <laughs> Cut you in half. Oh man, I completely missed that. That was, that was disgraceful. There we go. Got the bastard. Yeah, I kind of wasted one Mega Freeze a bit too soon there, but never mind. Uh, and then you have to wait for them to spawn in. Of course. <laughs> oh, damn. Ow! Damn! Seven, bitch. I know. Literally. Aye. God damn. Doesn't she know you should fight honourably? No. No, she's, she's, she's one of those girls, you know. Yeah, you don't yeah. do as she say, and she'll just bloom and grab a knife and just bloom and stab you, man. <laughs> <laughs> do as I say. She, <laughs> Fair, just she just abuses the prince. <laughs> she just abuses the prince. Uh, no, I could not imagine her doing that. She's way too uh, frail for that. I say frail, but she does throw arrows in your back, so there's that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, she doesn't get to do that in. I don't. I don't think she does that in Two Thrones. I don't think she does. Anyway. Yeah, I. I, I don't know why I'm trying to stab her. I don't have any sand power left, so it's not going to do anything. I probably. I probably just felt like I wanted to get my revenge. It's like, you stab me, I'll stab you. <laughs> you stab my back, I'll stab yours. Hell yeah. Ugh. Where's he going? Oi. He's had enough <laughs> going home. <laughs> he doesn't get paid enough. No, clearly not. The vizier, the vizier hasn't paid him his weekly uh, payment this week, so. I oh, know. Like, I'm not risking getting killed uh, for nothing. I oh, know. He said, "I'm already dead. I don't want to die again." I oh, know. National minimum wage, mate. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So anyway, she's gone all quiet. So I assume she's dead. Can you hear 
Ah, uh, well, who cares? He's trying to call her, but she's... Oh, I don't know. She's probably wandered off somewhere. Are you there? No, she's not there. Time for visions. <laughs> what we got this time? So we've got to break some walls again. Pull some levers. <coughs> break some more walls. Okay, we do meet her then, eventually. And then whiteness. Okay, good. We've at least we're starting to get we're starting to get some visions that are actually useful again. But eventually we will get useless visions um, <laughs> again. Just you know, spoiler alert: if you haven't played this game, um, yeah, shit will go down with Farah, and you know he'll he'll start to see it through the visions, um, and that's when issues start to happen but it's not yet it's not yet it is in the future yeah but it's going to happen and even though he tries to prevent it everything happens everything happens he can't do nothing about it it's kind of like this is just how it's meant to happen he gets obviously he gets really uh, paranoid I mean I don't blame him he's getting all these visions it's like should I trust him or should I not he gets really paranoid um, he's like well you know I, you know, he was like, I'm not going to trust anyone. But he's obviously started to trust Farah, but, you know, the visions are kind of making him not trust her. But, um, yeah, that will be a plot point later on. Oh, more of these white crystals. The white crystal meth. That's it. Power up that, power up that dagger. Hell yeah. I will say one thing I don't like about Two Thrones, slightly going off topic, topic, um, <laughs> Talk about a completely different game. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's still it's still Prince of Persia. It's still part of the series. Just you know, not Sands of Time. Um, and it is related to the dagger. Um, you do get the dagger again because you don't get the dagger at all in more of him. Um, you just get you just get two weapons. And for, to be honest, as a gameplay mechanic, I did prefer that. But um, I guess I kind of had to bring the dagger back in the Two Thrones to conclude the story. I, I guess. But um, yeah, in that game, it's. Um, I think it's your main weapon, and you can't really use the dagger as your main weapon. I mean, imagine him doing those acrobatic skills with a tiny, dinky little dagger, because that's pretty much what it is. And, yeah, it is not suited for that. It, okay, yeah, you stab the enemies when they're on the ground, and, you know, they turn to sand and whatever. But um, it's not used to actually attacking them at all but that's pretty much what you have to do in sands of time and i don't know what i'm doing not sands of time two of friends i don't know what i'm Sorry. doing here. um hmm. i know you look confused yeah i yeah i think that crystal meth has finally finally got to him but um i think i think i was just sort of seeing if there's any secrets or anything because yeah yeah i think now i remember um one thing that Oh, we're gonna have a sand tank. Awesome. Uh, one thing that war. Yeah, here we go. This is where she starts to get hurt because she's trapped. But we need to get to her. This is this is this is the kind of bullshit I don't like in gameplay, where you have to protect a girl, but you can't actually get to her right away. So it's like if she dies, you're screwed. I, I hate that. I hate that. Um, I don't know if you've ever played any uh, any sort of game missions where she's um. What took you so long? Shut up, bitch! <laughs> I just had to break through a few, through, through, few walls. You know, no biggie. Try my best left here. Her to die. I know. I'm Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's been won over by the girl. He can't do nothing now. We've lost him. <laughs> We've lost him forever. But um, yeah, I don't know if you've ever played any extort, it's any sort of ex escort missions. You know, when you have to, like, protect someone on the way? Yeah. That's irritating, man. I hate that sort of sort of thing. Ugh. They even had that in, in, in Sonic 06, and I was like... But that's a platformer, man. Get that get that crap out of my platformer. Why would they you had, even do that? They had escort missions in a Sonic game. Yes. Oh my god, that's yes, awful. Yes, I know. That's the stupidest thing. I know. That's one of the wor that's what that's one of the bad things about that game. Not only is that game is broken and incomplete, it has things like escort missions. 
Yes. And the whole point of Sonic is he's super fast and he runs around. I know. <laughs> but in that game, he is kind of super slow. He's gimped. Yeah. He's gimped. <laughs> imagine, imagine Sonic Adventure. You know how fast Sonic uh, Sonic is in Sonic Adventure. Yeah. Share that, share that by four. He runs really slow. <laughs> Actually, no, 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 no. How fast Amy runs in Sonic Adventure, that's probably how fast Sonic runs. Oh my god. No, no, even slower than that, actually. <laughs> even slower than that. May, I, I may even go to say big speed. How f oh my god. Oh no, that's bad. And all characters, apart from Blaze, which she's, she's kind of a new character in the series. Yeah. But um, she's, she's basically the not Sonic character of the game. Um... Even though we've already got Shadow, but there you go. But um, she's uh, what people like to call female Sonic, basically. Uh, yeah. She, her, even her shoes are the same as Sonic's, but they've got high heels because she's a girl. So they're kind of, oh, right. so they're kind of like high heel sneakers. But um, yeah, they, they're, they're basically like she's just on, the, she's from a different timeline, a uh, different future, different time, different different world altogether. Um, and she has soul hammers, like but anyway, I'm not getting to that. That's that's, that's for a, that's for another story. But um, yeah, she runs faster than him, slightly, but she does. Um, really? Yeah, in that game, which is why a lot of people like playing as her, even though you don't really play as her that much. But yeah, she's basically Sonic, but better in that game. That's 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 how I can describe it. Yeah. Um, well, you know how you have like, you have like humans in Sonic Adventure, don't you? Yeah. You don't really have them so much in... Well you, well, you do have them in Sonic Adventure 2. They have a president and whatnot. Yeah. But you don't really see them that much, apart from no. Eggman. In Sonic Adventure, you see them, but you don't really have to talk to them or interact. They're just kind of there, I guess. Yeah. Well, in Sonic 06, you have to interact with them now. That's basically that's basically what what, what happens. And one of, the ex oh, one of the escort missions is... oh. Speak to this woman, uh, and she she tells you where to go. But there's there's, there's robot ro robot mechs trying to ki trying to kill her, so you have to save her and <laughs> escort her. And I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm like, she's right there. Why can't she tell me where to go, and then I'll be on my way? Why do I have to do this pointless escort mission? <laughs> to, to yeah. Yeah, but that that's for another day. Um, I probably will get to Sonic 06 eventually, but I want to put I want to put you and Mark through the pain that I <laughs> put through if I Make eventually get to do it, just so you can see how bad it is. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 bad, you know. It's it's bad, but you know, yeah. Yeah, I've heard a lot of bad things about it. I've just never played it. Mm. Mm. I haven't played a lot of the Sonic games, to be completely honest. Nah. Well, a lot of people say after Sonic Adventure, he kind of went downhill. And that's partly... That's kind of true, in a way. It, dep it depends on what games you play. Yeah. Oh, apparently... Apparently, um, Farrah now loves the prince. Woohoo! I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> well, he's going to get laid. <laughs> Well, yeah, if they if they survive, because <laughs> then they get killed by sand creatures. <laughs> Spoiler alert: he doesn't get laid. Oh what? <laughs> Man, that's a twelve. That's a twelve plus, mate. <laughs> it doesn't happen to Warrior of In, and that's not even her. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We'll catch you guys next time.